Welcome to Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and our coverage of the third round of the 2023 U.S. Open Cup here on this Wednesday night in the Deep South. Two teams separated by less than 150 miles, ready to go head-to-head -to -head here this evening just outside of Birmingham. On one side, one of the top teams in the USL Championship this year in Birmingham Legion FC, who come in winners against Orange County and League and in the U.S. Open Cup as well. And on the other side, a Chattanooga FC side who's unbeaten so far in the Nisa season and with their eyes on a cup set for the second consecutive year. A spot in the round of 32 on the line here in Tuscaloosa. These two regional rivals are just about ready to go. Before we get going, a look at our starting 11s for both sides. First, let's start with Chattanooga and big news for the visitors, Marcus Nagelstad. The 32-year-old from Norway and one of the best goal scorers in Nisa. Back in the starting 11 tonight for Chattanooga. A big boost for Rod Underwood and his club. On the other side of things, for head coach Tom Stone in Birmingham Legion FC. They're getting healthier as the weeks go by. Deben Nwagbo, Juan Agadello, Prosper Kasim, Enzo Martinez amongst the top attacking quartets in the USL Championship this year. Still a couple of players who are not 90 minutes fit, but... On the bench tonight for Birmingham, they do get Mikey Lopez back and available for selection. Tyler Pasher is back and available to come off the bench as well. Really the only man missing from the first choice starting 11 tonight for Birmingham is their captain, Fonwell Cavita. He gets a rest tonight in central defense. So it'll be Alex Cronali who anchors centrally for Legion FC. Rod Underwood is the 55-year-old head coach, now in his second season at the helm of Chattanooga FC. He knows something about this U.S. Open Cup as a player and a coach, and so does that guy. Head coach Tom Stone, now in his fifth season at the helm of Birmingham Legion FC. He won the U.S. Open Cup as a coach in MLS a few years back, trying to engineer another run to the U.S. Open Cup deep into this tournament. Is Tom Stone and Birmingham Legion FC. Chattanooga winners over Des Moines in round two of this Open Cup. Birmingham Legion got things done in their matchup against Chattanooga Red Wolves out of USL League One. Trying to make it two wins over two Chattanooga clubs to get to the round of 32. The oldest sporting tournament in American sports history. 68 degrees and getting a little bit cooler as the sun sets here in Tuscaloosa. There's the whistle. Hammer the down. Underway. In the deep south, Chattanooga in blue, Birmingham Legion, and their sweet home Alabama Reds. Here at this Alabama Soccer Stadium in Tuscaloosa, 45, 50 minutes east. Protective Stadium, Birmingham Legion's normal home turf. Chattanooga on the attack first. One contact and a foul given. Colin Smith, the offending party. Early opportunity here for Chattanooga to push some bodies forward as Alex McGrath was the man that was brought down. So we'll see if Chattanooga can take advantage of an early set piece opportunity. On the Chattanooga side that has scored goals in bunches. In this Nisa campaign, they've scored four. Their U.S. Open Cup round two win at Des Moines. 4-1 win. Now we're to this uh, point in the tournament. The, uh, Rath lays it off. Taylor Gray. Perez. Has to go backwards. Rath, who took a shot and is down. He remains down. Referee did not blow the whistle for a foul. Chattanooga will usher it into their own bench to check on their teammates. Just off screen, there is the man down. who is in a bit of pain. Five-year-old Englishman, Chattanooga's team leader in minutes played last year. First team all week selection in Nisa, an important part of this midfield. Slowly making his way to his feet, looks like he's gonna be okay. Went to whistle the first time he went to ground, did not get it that time. Looks like he'll be able to continue, it'll be a throw for Legion FC. Seem likely just going to toss it back to Chattanooga, who conceded possession with the man down. Goes in Corcoran, and Corcoran does get it all the way back to the back line of Chattanooga. So, sportsman like there for Birmingham. A couple of minutes in here in Tuscaloosa. Olympia 
MPSL rivalry from back in the day. Chattanooga and Birmingham both getting their start at the MPSL. Chattanooga FC now playing out of Nisa. Third division of the U.S. Soccer Pyramid. Birmingham Beach now for the USL Championship in the second rung of this U.S. Soccer Pyramid. Intervention there at the back. of see hoist it back forward. Wagbo trying to head it on. Colin Strickling beat him there to it. Here's Juan Agadello. Agadello out wide to Wegbo. Wegbo searching for options, lobs it in, headed away. And so Martinez on the volley. Shot redirected back out to Colin Smith. And it is cleared away by this Chattanooga back line. Very important 10, 15 minutes here for Chattanooga. Settle into this game. the flag. Michael Perez to usher it to the touchline. Looks like it's just a throw from that deep flag. Perez, Stripling, Repolita, Bowers, the back four tonight for Chattanooga. Almost a first choice starting 11 for Chattanooga FC. That includes this goalkeeper who makes that play. Gene Antoine, 29 year old, was the best goalkeeper in Nisa last year with Cal United brought over to Chattanooga this year. He's already kept clean, clean sheets in three games in Nisa. Surrendered just that one goal against Des Moines in the U.S. Open Cup. Tripling left it. All the way to the back line of Birmingham it goes. Ben Raveno, the man on loan from New England Revolution. Here's in central defense tonight with Alex Cronali. Steven Wegbo picks up his head. Juan Agadello making the run behind him. Good combination play from those two. Wegbo chopped down. Tackle was clean and it was last touch by Wegbo, says our referee. We'll look at it here. Tackle looked fairly clean. I don't think that was last touch by Nwegbo. Regardless, a throw for Chattanooga. See you, Takes a piece out of McGrath with that shot. And once again, Alex McGrath is down here in the first five plus minutes. Totally unintentional that time from Anderson to see you He just tried to play that ball in the volley. And went right to the face of Alex McGrath. Been a tough five and a half minutes to start. McGrath, another look at it here. Just no chance to react for McGrath. Referee did the right thing. Stopped play for a moment with a potential head injury. Now we'll restart things with a drop ball. So right in front of Damian Rodriguez. Play again. Stripling all the way back to Bowers. Enzo Martinez applying the pressure. It pays off. His shot from distance. A little bit too tall for that bar as Antoine was just a little bit off his line. But that's the kind of danger Enzo Martinez presents. One of the best work rates on this Birmingham 11. Wearing the captain's armband tonight with their normal captain, Fonwell Kavita, starting the evening on the bench. Good pressure applied by Corker in that time. He wins Birmingham a throw right in front of their team area. Quickly, Colin Smith puts it back in play. Six and a half minutes gone. Glad to have you with us. Our coverage, the third round of the U.S. Open Cup. To 32 starts here in a few weeks. The draw tomorrow. One of these teams will hear their name called. Nwagbo is cross cut out. Repolita got a boot to it. Dixon trying to spin through traffic. Well done by him, but Corcoran gets it back for Birmingham. A see you do. Smith providing a bit of width. 
Osper Kasim. Try to get back to Smith, and that is going to be a whistle and a foul as Smith tried to get a foot on the ball instead. Caught a piece of the man, Taylor Gray, the man down. Pretty easy call there as Gray brought to ground. Gray, a fan favorites. Chattanooga FC side, a dynamic player on that left wing. It'll be interesting to watch him tonight. He and Colin Smith, two of the fastest guys on the field. Smith, the right back for Birmingham. Gray, of course, making his mark on that left wing. He's the reason Chattanooga was able to win their last contest out. 1-0 win over Flower City because Gray drew a penalty in the second half. Richard Dixon converted it. That was all Chattanooga needed. That's given away. Nwegbo leading the charge back the other direction. Adela holds it up, brings Minsa into it. Sidhu opts to go back the other side as Chattanooga regain their shape. Agatello, Corcoran. Smith dispossessed from behind. Gray tried to start the counter, and now it's back to the feet of Gray. He's got Naglastad running with him. Still great, trying to touch it around one man, could not get it around Corcoran. And that is well done by Matthew Corcoran. One of the youngest players on the field, one of the youngest regulars so far this year in the USL Championship. Just 17 years old. Matthew Corcoran making a name for himself in this Birmingham Legion midfield to start this campaign. Martinez taking off it, Kasim there to recover. Trying to find Nwegbo in the space on the other side. This just did not come off quite as he intended. Another look at that tackle from Matthew Corcoran going to ground to win it back. 17 year old from Dallas, Texas. He's now started in six straight games across all competitions. Here's Gray against Smith on that far side. Gray cuts it back. His cross deflected and sent away with authority by Asiadu. Magadello, here comes Deben Wegbo. 21 year old with some space on this near side. Wegbo cuts it inside. Overlap from Mensa to the back post. Kasim couldn't quite corral it with that off foot. Kasim, known for his left, couldn't quite bring it down with his right. Throw coming here for Chattanooga. Birmingham head coach Tom Sowen, the man who went to retrieve the ball that time. Sportsmanlike, the head man from Legion FC. Quickly win it back again. See you doing a crowded midfield, able to dribble out of it. Raveno. Corcoran. Birmingham opting to keep their foot on the ball here for a moment. This natural grass surface, both teams kind of look at it in pregame. Said it was a little slower than what they're used to playing on. Both these teams play on turf. Of course, a turf surface at Finley Stadium in Chattanooga. Birmingham playing at Protective Stadium in downtown Birmingham. Artificial turf as well. Surface looks excellent. Maybe plays just a tad slower than what these two teams play on on their home surfaces. Smith tried to dance around great to no avail. and tried to play the switch. It falls for Mensa, and the flag was up against Nwegbo. Demon Nwegbo in an offside position. Brings the play to a halt. And another stoppage here as Chattanooga have another man down. I believe that's McGrath again. He's on a knee this time. Another look here, that was Nwegbo who was caught offside. 
Good challenge from Stripling regardless, but after that play was over, McGrath went down to a knee. Might still be feeling the effects of that shot he took at close range from Anderson Asiadu, now getting checked out a little bit further. He's able to continue for a moment. Looks like they're trying to wash out his right eye, perhaps. So a stoppage here in the 13th minute. Birmingham fans, don't forget to stay up to date on all the latest Legion FC news. Be sure to follow at BHM Legion on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Download the Legion FC app today. At BHM Legion on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. The Legion FC app, your way to keep track of all things Birmingham Legion FC. Birmingham back at home at Protective Stadium coming up this Sunday. First things first, trying to get to the round of 32 in this U.S. Open Cup as McGrath looks to be okay. China Dugo will play down a man for a moment. McGrath now wave back on. Chattanooga back to full strength after just a moment. Good to see McGrath able to continue. Again, been a tough start to the night for Alex McGrath. And a whistle and a foul stops Enzo Martinez from dribbling at this Chattanooga back line. Martinez didn't think there was much contact there. Just that little tug up around the shoulders of Luis Garcia Sosa is enough to bring things to a halt. Perez lets that roll into touch. First quarter hour scoreless so far tonight between Birmingham Legion and Chattanooga FC. Chattanooga trying to upset a USL Championship side in the US Open Cup for the second consecutive year after they hosted and beat Memphis 901 FC 3-1 last season. A result that delighted both Chattanooga fans and Birmingham fans at the time. Now Chattanooga to advance, take on Atlanta United in the following round. Atlanta United came away with a 6-0 win. It's See you do try to connect with Enzo Martinez. Garcia Sosa, Maglistad. Almost an opportunity for Damian Rodriguez. Instead, it goes all the way back. Trepolita and Jean Antoine. Chattanooga made it to that matchup with Atlanta United before falling last year's Open Cup. Birmingham Legion beats Southern States SC on this very ground. Last year to advance to the third round. After another home contest, played that one at Birmingham Southern. Just outside downtown Birmingham. Fell in that contest to Tormenta FC, who ended up going on to win USL League One last season. Asiadu being allowed to turn. Birmingham trying to break through this pressure on that far side. Right along the touchline. Not sure how it stayed in play. It didn't is the answer. And it's a throw for Birmingham in that crowded space. So both these teams trying to make a bigger run in this 2023 Open Cup than they did in 2022. Naglastad able to bring it down. Tried to play Gray in behind, but Alex Cronelli had it red, and it's the first real touches of the night for Trevor Spangenberg. Birmingham's number two goalkeeper has turned into their number one over the past couple of weeks. And he's got Moses Mensa off and running. Mensa tried to cut it back to Agadello. That was well done. I believe Richard Dixon got a boot in. Kasim trying to keep that in play could not. Look here, Mensa pushing forward. And it was Richard Dixon. Came up with a key intervention. First ever club pro signing for Chattanooga. It's been an integral part. This Chattanooga midfield as a whistle and a foul is going to bring our first card of the night. Or will it? Referee went into his pockets and now maybe just some stern words for Marcus Naglastad. Matthew Corcoran was brought down. Corcoran was stamped by Naglastad. It was a little late. 
referee might have been justified in bringing out his first yellow card of the night, but decided against it. Only a warning for Marcus Naglastadia. Kasim trying to turn, holds off a defender. Corcoran. Asiadu. Asiadu had options, didn't like either one. Tried to cut it back and had it intercepted. Naglastad. Just possessed from behind by Alex Cronali, who's been in his back pockets for 17 plus minutes tonight. Here's Nwagbo. Deep in Nwagbo, edge of the area. Corcoran out the other side. Smith. Excellent first touch from Smith, but he couldn't keep it in play. Colin Smith has been involved early on tonight. The 19-year-old on loan from FC Dallas. Played in almost every minute so far this year for Birmingham. Just a look at the Chattanooga support that has made its way down to Tuscaloosa tonight. The Chattahooligans in full force. Chattanooga's support on one side, Birmingham's on the other. Again, less than 150 miles separate these two clubs. Birmingham played their matchup in the previous round of the U.S. Open Cup against the Chattanooga Red Wolves. Chattanooga FC fans are big Birmingham fans. Happy to see the East Ridge side fall. On opposite sides of the coin tonight, only one can go through. Even Wegbo trying to get that cross away. It was deflected. Antoine lets it go over the end line. So the first corner kick of the night is coming. It belongs to Birmingham, and it's brought to you by Chick-fil-A. Oh, yeah. The side of the Birmingham supporter section. Birmingham Legion looking for their first real scoring opportunity of the night. Big center back, the six foot five, Alex Cronali is forward in and around the area of danger. Corker into the back post. Asiadu got it clean, but high and wide. All the big targets in and around the box, and it's the smallest man on the pitch, Anderson Asiadu, who got a decent look. Just over the top of Juan Agadello and Asiadu. Couldn't quite keep that down. Chattanooga trying to play out of the back under some duress. Wise thing there, Prepolita ushering it out of play for just another Chattanooga goal kick. Twenty minutes gone so far in Tuscaloosa tonight. Blake Gardner here with you. Glad to have you with us. Area scoring chance for either side yet, but perhaps that changes here. Chattanooga, a chance to run forward. Naglastad, edge of the area, couldn't squeeze off a shot. That's well done by Anderson Asiadu, tracking back defensively. It's McGrath and Naglastad running at this Birmingham back line. Smith with the first look at it, not out, and then Anderson Asiadu followed up with a strong defensive effort. Now it's Birmingham pressing forward. Kasim looking over the top. Nwagbo's onside this time. Nwagbo, his shot, takes a deflection. Mensa to the back post, just over the top of everybody. Kasim able to keep it alive, but only to a blue shirt. Asiadu quickly wins it back, allows Birmingham to reset their possession. Mensa pushing forward again from this fullback spot. Another service, this one well beyond the face of goal. Mensa a little frustrated with himself, apologizing for that service. Rookie and former Campbell Campbell making his third starts here in 2023. Lestad able to bring that down and find Luis Garcia Sosa. Here comes Garcia Sosa. He's got an option to his right. Rodriguez got away the service. Raveno sends it away. Strip 
Kaplan keeps it down here. by Mintz, that throw coming here for Chattanooga. Just two shots combined for both sides. Both belong to Birmingham here in the first 22 plus minutes. Rodriguez trying to find his way around Mensa, who is having none of that. And the flag goes up for a foul committed by Damian Rodriguez. 20-year-old has been dynamic. One of two Rodriguez brothers in the 18 for Chattanooga. Call for the foul there as Trevor Spangenberg sends everybody forward and we'll send this away. Asiadu connects with Agadello. Agadello chopped down behind the play. Enzo Martinez out the other side for Kasim. Referee playing the advantage. Kasim looking for support, didn't find much. And now the referee will stop things, bring it all the way back, and hand out the first yellow card of the Knights for that late challenge on Juan Agadello. And it is a yellow card shown. Anatoly Prepolita for that challenge right there that was certainly late. That's well done by the referee. Letting play go, then coming back to assess the card. Yellow card brought to you by Rubio Law Firm tonight. Is the first yellow card caution shown to either side. So Prepolita, the man from Moldova. It's shown yellow card caution here in the 25th minute. He'll help Antoine play out of the back for Chattanooga. More than midway through our opening 45 minutes. Neither side has broken the deadlock just yet. Garcia Sosa has tripped over the ball, but Almost found his way around Nuegbo. He grabbed a bit of a shorts to make sure that couldn't happen. The foul was given. Dangerous moment there for Garcia Sosa. Then you can see Nuegbo grabbing the shorts a little bit. Nothing malicious, just making sure the man couldn't get by. Nwagbo in on another challenge, this time against Stripling. That's last touch by Nwagbo. Nwagbo, the 21-year-old former member of the William & Mary Tribe in his rookie season with Birmingham Legion FC. Scored one of the goals in Birmingham's win over the Chattanooga Red Wolves. Juan Agadello had two. Colin Smith tacked on one more. Both these sides put up four spots in their second round U.S. Open Cup wins. Hold up play from Naglastad. McGrath trying to thread it through. Alex Cronali, the first man to it. Just in front of Damian Rodriguez, but the job not done yet. Garcia Sosa into the mix. Out of the way by Smith. And here come Birmingham Legion. Second ball brought down by Martinez. Martinez took some contact. Referee said not enough. Rodriguez, out of the hold off of Siadu. Garcia Sosa, pardon me. Rodriguez, the man providing support out the other side, Naglastan. Perez. Ray trying to turn. Perez. Chattanooga growing into this game. A bit more possession for the visitors over the last few minutes. Can they pay it off into a scoring opportunity? Chattanooga head coach, Rod Underwood, and 
talking to USsoccer.com this week, said he wanted his team to play with a foot on the ball. Chattanooga didn't have much in the way of possession early. They've had more lately. Rodriguez dispossessed that time by Mensa. Wegbo. Here comes Steven Wegbo with Juan Agudelo and Enzo Martinez joining in the way of support. Veno over the top of the white bow, able to bring it down. Excellent first touch. Agadello back to Nuegbo, trying to thread it through to Martinez. Instead, Richard Dixon had it red. Here comes Chattanooga, McGrath. Trying to thread it through to Gray again. Alex Cronalli in the right spot. Plenty of experience for Alex Cronalli, the fourth year man for Birmingham Legion FC. Played in this tournament with Birmingham and with Columbus Crew. Flag is going to go up there against Taylor Gray. And now Anderson Asiadu is going to be shown a yellow card. So, second time tonight we've seen our referee let play go for a moment and then bring it all the way back. It wasn't for anything here, but a few moments ago, a tough challenge from Anderson Asiadu. He has shown a yellow card. So now each side has been shown one yellow. For Anderson Asiadu, that's nothing new. Team leader in tackles for Birmingham Legion for a second consecutive year. He's been shown two yellow cards already in USL Championship play. Thirtieth minute here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama Soccer Stadium. An excellent night for soccer. Sixty plus degrees. And Chattanooga pressing forward. They've got numbers. Garcia Sosa couldn't get around Raveno. Birmingham. They might have numbers back the other way. Juan Agadello picks up his head. Kasim. Smith providing the width. Kasim, Agadello, Corcoran. Worked by Perez to get in front, but it only goes as far away as Kasim. Kasim will take a shot and put it in! Prosper Kasim, are you kidding? What a strike! 1 0, Birmingham in front. Sensational stuff from Prosper Kasim gets the crowd to their feet and gives Birmingham Legion an early advantage. An absolutely gorgeous finish from well outside the box. Almost looked like Prosper Kasim would serve from here instead. Had a go at goal. And nothing Antoine could do about it. One of the best goals in the U.S. Open Cup so far this year belongs to Prosper Kasim. Has given Birmingham Legion a first half lead here in Tuscaloosa against Chattanooga. Something special from Prosper Kasim, a man who has scored many, many goals now in his fifth season with the club. Scored nine times last year. Scored over 25 goals across all competitions for this Birmingham side. Now he's got a U.S. Open Cup goal to his name as well. And that is something special that you're going to see plenty across social media. Neither.
neither side has really had a golden scoring opportunity. I wouldn't classify that one as a big time scoring chance, but it didn't matter to Prosper Kasim. It doesn't matter to Birmingham Legion either. They're playing in front now. Final 12 plus minutes of this opening half. That sensational strike, the difference in what has been a relatively 50-50 first 30 plus minutes. Throwing coming here for Kasim in Birmingham. Smith ran out of options, ran out of real estate. Good work defensively by Dixon. Asiadu cuts out any sort of counter and still has it. Well done by Asiadu in a crowd. Agadello kept it alive and won Birmingham a throw. Kasim towards Martinez away by Chattanooga. Now a chance perhaps for Chattanooga to push forward. Damien Rodriguez. Rounded by Mensa. Not enough contact there to warrant any sort of foul. Moses Mensa has been up to the task defensively so far tonight. Siadu trying to thread it all the way through. Perez cut it out. Gray on the turn. Gray caught in possession, Agadella was there. Agadella chopped down as well by Perez, free kick given. Second time in this first half, Juan Agadello's taken a big hit. Referee's gonna have words with Perez, doesn't look like a card's coming out, but a little bit of a shoulder and a knee from a man known as JP up in Chattanooga, Joseph Perez. Long time player in Nisa League. San Diego, LA Force, Cal United. Now has made his way to Chattanooga where he started every game so far this year for CFC. Mensa. Agatello. Out the other side, Colin Smith joining the fray. The goal scorer, Prosper Kasim. Serve a little bit short of its intended targets. Ray trying to break quickly. Kasim and Asiadu hounding him there. Naglastad. Stripling. And Stripling holds things up for a moment. Damian Rodriguez. Stripling working on this side, and it trickles all the way back for Prepolita. Trying to corral it, could not in front of his own bench. Birmingham Legion 1, Chattanooga FC nil so far tonight. Please don't forget the winner of this match advances to the U.S. Open Cup round of 32. The round of 32 draw held on Thursday, April 27th. So tomorrow at 2 o'clock Eastern Time, 1 o'clock Central Time. Streaming live on the Bleacher Report app and Bleacher Report's football YouTube channel. Spot in the round of 32 on the line. Right now, Birmingham with their nose in front, thanks to a wondrous strike from Prosper Kasim. Team into Wegbo, his pass cut out by Garcia Sosa. Siadu once again able to win it back in short order for Legion FC. Corcoran just a bit behind Agadello. Possession so far tonight, relatively even between the two sides, according to Opta. Birmingham Legion with nearly double the touches in the attacking half compared to their counterparts. Chattanooga just has not been able to generate any type of killer chances so far this evening. Good work under pressure by Asiadu, who's tugged a bit by Gray. 
referee let it go, and that's well done. Asiadu finds Mensa. Mensa dribbling through everybody. Nuenkbo, an opportunity to the back post. Headed away by Perez as far as Kasim. Corcoran tried to turn without some trouble from McGrath, who went to ground to tackle Kasim. Smith, bending ball in, and it bounces for Jean Antoine. Once again, Anderson Asidu there takes away Antoine's service. Anderson Asidu has covered some ground defensively here in this first half, making his presence felt. Standard operating stuff from Asidu. Gray, excellent pace from him. He gets around Kasim. Corcoran joining to try to help defensively. Kasim. Eventually wins the battle. Thirty-ninth minute here in Tuscaloosa. Birmingham Legion in front. One of a few USL Championship sides in action tonight. Chattanooga FC, one of three NISA sides here in this US Open Cup third round. The side already fell to a USL championship side. Pittsburgh taking out Maryland yesterday. Chattanooga trying to avoid that fate. As is Flower City Union, who find themselves trailing by five right now against Loudon United. Chattanooga FC Nisa's last chance at a spot in the round of 32. Juan Agadello pushing forward. Mensa making the run as well. Agadello has space. He can see one up from here. Dead ops not to, allows more members of his team to join the attacking half. Alan Smith with space. Smith to the byline, decent ball. Good job by Antoine to punch it away from trouble. Chattanooga support, grateful for Antoine has done so far this year. Hasn't had much to do tonight. Couldn't do much about the strike from Prosper Kasim that separates these two sides right now. Martinez able to turn. And so Martinez will try. Sent away emphatically by Prepolita. Prepolita able to bring that one down this time. Final four plus minutes here in this opening half. Birmingham Legion in front. Chattanooga creates something of substance here late in this first half. Challenge Trevor Spangenberg in this Birmingham back line. That has not allowed a shot on goal so far 40 plus minutes in. It's McGrath tracking all the way back for a touch. Drum beat of the Chattanooga support, trying to urge their team on. Chattanooga's had possession tonight. A lot of it has been on their half. Looking for more on this side of the park. Worked defensively by Nwagbo. Dispossesses McGrath. Throw in for Chattanooga. Naglastad holding out for Veno, trying to turn. Stripling serves it in, headed away by Smith. It's a big time header because Gray was lurking right behind him. Agatello able to connect with Enzo Martinez, who's tugged down from behind. Referee allowing the advantage to be played. Dwagbo has plenty of space. Chattanooga scrambling back defensively. Dwagbo punched away by Antoine. Nuga does just enough defensively. Granali over the end line and a goal kick here for Chattanooga. And our referee 
once again, once play stops, has a yellow card in his hand. And we'll show it to Aiden Bowers. So the 25 year old from California, Aiden Bowers is booked. Now both center backs or Chattanooga are carrying yellows the rest of the night. So Bowers and Prepolita have been booked for Chattanooga. Anderson Asiadu has been shown yellow for Birmingham Legion. Antoine again doing well to press that away from Juan Agadello who is waiting at the back post. Juan Agadello in form right now for Legion FC. Scored two goals against Chattanooga Red Wolves in the Open Cup, scored a goal that tied the game at Orange County this past weekend. Birmingham went down an early goal in California. Agadello has scored, Enzo Martinez scored. Birmingham to complete the comeback and take all three points away from Orange County. Gray into the box and out of the box, sent away by Corcoran. Perez. Trying to keep the pressure on. Gray turns towards the byline. McGrath got it away in the mix for a moment before Mensa dealt with it. Still work to be done for Birmingham defensively. Chattanooga trying to press the advantage here. Apply pressure to this Birmingham defense. Late in this first half. The Chattanooga success has come on that far side with Gray and Perez connecting with Naglastad. Allowing McGrath to get forward as well. Out the other side this time. Damian Rodriguez was in an offside position. The flag is up and brings everything to a halt. Should have much stoppage time here in the first half and we get three minutes confirmed. So three minutes of added time is coming to close this first half, brought to you by UAB Medicine. Three minutes more beyond our 45 to close this first half. Birmingham fans, Legion FC return to Protective Stadium on Sunday at four o'clock central time to face Hartford Athletic. Get your tickets and enjoy $2 hot dogs, multiple bounce houses, and more. Again, tickets at bhmlegion.com or the Legion FC app, Birmingham Legion. Back in USL Championship play, taking on fellow Eastern Conference side, Hartford Athletic coming up this Sunday. Kasim, the goal scorer. Looking for the run of Nuegbo, as he was trying to keep himself on side. He was able to do that, but he could not keep that in play. Worked by that AR on the far side, who was sprinting along with Nuegbo. Coming here for Chattanooga. Chattanooga FC, plenty of support has made their way down to Alabama Soccer Stadium here in Tuscaloosa. They will their team to a cup set, of which there have been very few so far in this third round. Only Monterey Bay was able to spring an upset in the games yesterday. Playing at home, they were able to come away with all the spoils of victory against MLS side San Jose Earthquakes. Venno to the feet of his goalkeeper Spangenberg, who deals with it. Not as far as Mensa, though. I think that was the last touch by Chattanooga. Assistant referee on that side agrees. So far, a couple of cup sets perhaps to keep an eye on. Louisville City was playing stride for stride with FC Cincinnati, although it looks like FC Cincinnati has found the back of the net late. Only other potential cup set worth monitoring at the moment. Miami FC in the battle for South Florida. USL Championship side in front of the MLS side, Inter Miami. Into the second half, down in the Sunshine State. Final few moments of the first half here in Tuscaloosa. 
Sidhu in traffic, couldn't bring it down. Naglastad, maybe in on goal. His shot blocked away by Asiadu. Nervy moments there for Asiadu, but he makes up for it with defensive effort, and a foul is called against McGrath as Menzo went down. That's perhaps the best scoring opportunity Chattanooga has had so far. Again, Anderson Asiadu doing enough defensively. Making sure Trevor Spangenberg was not challenged. Asiadu has been the best defensive player for either side here in this first half. Perhaps time for one more opportunity here to close this first half. Prosper Kasim serves towards Agadello, who got ahead on it. Could not redirect it on frame, and that is indeed the final play of this opening half. 45 plus minutes in the books. This one, Agatello couldn't quite redirect that towards the face of goal. But he and his Birmingham side are going to be very pleased with their efforts so far in the first half. It was relatively even for both sides, but a big time goal scoring effort from Prosper Kasim has separated the two sides at the moment. Defensively, Birmingham has been up to the challenge. Just one shot for Chattanooga. And nothing on frame that has troubled Trevor Spangenberg. Sure to please head coach Tom Sohn. 45 plus minutes in the books here in Tuscaloosa at Alabama Soccer Stadium. Our score, Birmingham Legion 1, Chattanooga FC 0. We'll take a timeout. More from our coverage of the 2023 third round of this U.S. Open Cup when we return. Welcome back to Alabama Soccer Stadium here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Birmingham Legion using it as a home field of sorts. The host of this third round contest between Birmingham Legion and Chattanooga FC. A round of 32 spot in the U.S. Open Cup on the line tonight. The round of 32 draw coming up tomorrow afternoon. 24 third round winners plus the top eight MLS sides from a year ago will make up the round of 32. And the draw is announced tomorrow. Either Birmingham or Chattanooga will join that group. Right now it's Birmingham who has their nose in front. One goal to nil, our score. Birmingham out and ready to go. No changes confirmed for the home side. And for the visitors, it doesn't look like they have made any confirmed changes either. So, same 11s we started with. Senso Martinez and Juan Agadello talk shop before this second 45 gets going. Chattanooga is going to have to come from behind if they want to advance in this tournament. Birmingham Legion, meanwhile, hoping for more of the same here in this second half. Ron Underwood's club come up with something special here on the road. Or will Tom Sohn's side see their way through to the round of 32? Chattanooga breaks their huddle, ready to go. Boys in blue against the men in sweet home Alabama Red tonight. Support from both sides has made their way to Tuscaloosa. And saw an excellent back and forth up and down first half. But we have more of the same coming here in the second. Whistle blows. Matthew Corcoran gets things started for Birmingham Legion. And our second 45 minutes here in Tuscaloosa is underway. I'm Blake Gardner. Glad to have you with us tonight on behalf of our entire crew here in Tuscaloosa. Fun third round contest here in the 2023 edition of this U.S. Open Cup. The 108th edition of this story tournament that was first played all the way back in 1914. A hundred teams entered. And by the end of the night tonight on the West Coast, we will be down to 32. They won U.S. Open Cup upset yesterday. USL Championship Club Monterey Bay took out San Jose 1-0. So far tonight, the favorites by and large been in front. Chattanooga looking for something here in this second half. McGrath pushing forward into the area. Still McGrath dispossessed from behind. And Corcoran clears it away. Tough challenge there. Prepolita is down. Now the whistle blows. 
Lita comes up holding his face as he went up jumping with Juan Agadello. Is it head to head? Looked like the contact might have occurred before both men got to the apex. Whistle was blown. It was a foul against Agadello. So free kick here for Chattanooga. Again, both center backs for Chattanooga playing on yellow cards. Prepolita and Bowers both shown cautions in the first half. And a whistle and a foul called there as well. So another Chattanooga free kick forthcoming. That time it was Colin Stripling who was brought down. And now in his second season with Chattanooga. After winning USL League One Championship, this time with Greenville. A chance for Chattanooga really to push the big bodies forward with a set piece. They had one extremely early in the first half, but that was really about it. Garcia Sosa and McGrath. McGrath. Here's Richard Dixon. Wants to go back down the line. McGrath beaten to it by Asiadu. Another key intervention by him. Throw for Chattanooga, but it's actually going to be a throw for Birmingham Legion as that went over the touchline way back there. Really a wasted opportunity there for the visitors. We're still searching for their first shot on goal. Just two total shots in that first 45 minutes. Seam out wide. Moses Minza put in an excellent shift in that first half. He and Diba Nwegbo combining on that flank. Those two combining once again to start this second half. Nwegbo dancing. Leaves it off for Corcoran. His pass doesn't quite get to Kasim. do with another interception. Smith lets that go out of play. Gray trying to save it, but to no avail. Chattanooga FC Nisa's last hope. Putting a team in the round of 32. Flower City Union dispatched by Loudoun United tonight out of the USL Championship. 5-0 the final score in that one. Plenty of USL Championship teams in action tonight. Includes Louisville City who lose to their rivals FC Cincinnati. A late goal from Cincinnati, the difference there. Lanta in front of Memphis, final stages in Kennesaw. Scoreless so far between Indy 11 and Columbus Crew in another MLS USL matchup. As Gray is brought down, another free kick given to Chattanooga. Garcia Sosa looking for a way forward. Stripling. Taken away by Mensa. Good footwork there by Mensa in front of his bench, but he gives it away. Naglastad waiting for some supports. Just plays it off a red shirt. Keeps possession for Chattanooga. Naglastad is the danger man for Chattanooga. The golden boot, golden ball winner in Nisa last year, scoring 20 times. His one shot tonight has been blocked. Can he get a little bit more service in this second half? Gray, hounded by Smith. Smith got a boot in to at least deflect it as far as Dixon. Gray around Corcoran. His pass didn't quite get through to McGrath. See Alex McGrath still going. He had a tough first five or ten minutes. Got fouled hard a couple of times. Took a ricochet off the face in the early going. He's been able to continue to this point. Opportunity here for Chattanooga. McGrath making the run. Spangenberg out to beat him to it. 
Good play from Trevor Spangenberg, the third year man from Valparaiso, Indiana. Hasn't had to make a save yet tonight, but he's been up to the task on a couple of occasions. It's up for USL Championship save of the week on Twitter at the moment for an effort that saved the game for Birmingham in their win against Orange County over the weekend. Perez dispossessed by Kasim. Trying to play it quickly ahead, Nwagbo. Did he direct that with his shoulder or his arm? Referee says shoulder, Nwagbo allowed to play. Yeah. Youngster Matthew Corcoran. Gets it back from Asiadu. The shooting range for Kasim, we've already seen it once tonight. Seam, Agadello, Martinez couldn't find his way through traffic. Perez clears it, but only as far as Smith. Here is McGrath back on it. Let everybody get reorganized once more. Seven plus minutes gone in our second 45 here in Tuscaloosa. 32 spot on the line. The winner of this match advances. You hear their name called to the round of 32 draw held tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock Eastern, 1 o'clock Central time. Live on the Bleacher Report app and Bleacher Report football YouTube channel. Long ball over the top into the run of Gray. Can he track it down? Yes, he can. In front of Smith, Gray. Still Gray. Got the cross away. The shot blocked. Mensa clears and away from trouble. Garcia Sosa, an opportunity there off the service from Gray. Could not get it around the Birmingham back line. Good job by Dixon to keep that alive. Trying to be shielded off it by Martinez. The whistle blows against Martinez. Chattanooga faithful have made noise tonight, trying to cheer the visiting team on, trailing by a goal. One of their best opportunities so far this evening right here. Would have been Luis Garcia Sosa's first goal of the campaign, just could not squeeze it through. Here comes Taylor Gray once more. Garcia Sosa, back out wide, Gray. His service cut out by Cronali. A corner kick coming here for Chattanooga. Taylor Gray has been the danger man tonight. He's been excellent to start this second half. First corner of the contest for Chattanooga. Before McGrath serves, it is a crowded few square feet around the face of goal. He's going to have wards with both sides. Between the two teams, there's 10 or 11 bodies around Trevor Spankenberg, the Birmingham goalkeeper. McGrath serves it that direction. Spangenberg off his line, punches it away, and that's over the bar from Rodriguez. And Rodriguez did not catch this as clean as he would have liked. That backpedaling, caught it with his left foot and does not trouble the frame of Spangenberg. Well, under pressure, had to send that away. Bit of an emergency clearance into his own bench. Chattanooga applying a bit of pressure, able to win possession back quickly. It is still possession with Chattanooga. Before this throw, Birmingham is going to make what appears to be their first change of the night. Steven Wegbo is going to be the man who is coming off. Gabriel Alves is coming on. So it's Alves on, Nwegbo off. Good shift from Nwegbo, who was involved heavily on the left flank in the first half. 
Gabriel Alves, the rookie from Marshall, is on. That likely changes the shape of this Birmingham side. Alves, more of a left midfielder, left back. Although applying pressure high up the pitch here. Fresh legs for Birmingham. The first change either side has made so far tonight. And Alves immediately makes an impact with a clean tackle. Stripling wins it back. Spaces along that touchline, Stripling able to keep it with Chattanooga. Stripling picks up his head. Rodriguez, Raveno got a piece of that. And Alves clears it away. Was it touched by a Chattanooga player? No. Waste no time getting it back into play. A dozen minutes into this second half. Prosper Kasim's goal, the difference so far. Chattanooga have been a bit more the dangerous side to start this second half. Birmingham a chance to push forward now. Anderson Asiadu. Enzo Martinez. Dixon on his back. Martinez still able to corral it. Now it is cleared away. All the way back to the goalkeeper, Trevor Spankenberg. Chattanooga have picked up the pressure so far in the second half. Keep it up. Martinez went to ground. Got a touch first. Did not get the whistle. Agadello with Mensa once again making that run from his fullback spot. Mensa has been dangerous so far tonight. Pops it back for Alvis. Sustained possession here for Birmingham before Carnale tries to play the big switch. Agadello, did he keep himself on side? Referee says yes, flag stays down, and Agadello gets around his man. Here's Juan Agadello into the box. Leaves it for Martinez. His shot is blocked. Antoine with a huge stop to keep this at just a one goal game for now. Smith. Corcoran on the turn. Kasim. Still work to be done for this Chattanooga defense. Minsa. Kasim surveys, didn't like what he saw. Chattanooga still pinned in here to their own defensive third. Minsa serves, cleared away by Prepolita. Raveno keeps it away from Naglastad. Corcoran, good turn in midfield, gets himself around Dixon. Corcoran, good tackle in the end, takes away from Corcoran. Alvis, this has been a long spell of possession here for Legion FC. Paid it off into one dangerous attacking moment, looking for a second. Enzo Martinez was point blank. Gene Antoine, his first huge stop of the night. Smith trying to get it back to the run of Martinez, who was shielded off it by Bowers. Well done and well worked by Agadello. Martinez took it first time, but Antoine able to make the stop. An important one at that. Chattanooga making their first change of the night. Swan Louie is on. 24-year-old in his first season with Chattanooga. Former member of the Drake Bulldogs when he played his college soccer. Louie is on for Damian Rodriguez. Chattanooga look for fresh legs. 
more in the attack here in this second half with less than a half hour to play. Perez, binding with Gray. Gray cuts it inside. Louis made the run, Cornali got ahead to it. Alves fighting, and just not able to keep that in play. Effort though from Gabriel Alves. So each side has made a change now. Alves on for Birmingham. Juan Louis on for Chattanooga. Martinez able to maintain his footing. Bit of a screen set there by Alves. Martinez dispossessed by Stripling. Reveno, looks like he played that off the hand of Nagelstad. Birmingham Leach and a free kick inside their own box. Trevor Spangenberg will use this as a time to push everybody forward in a red shirt. Birmingham fans to stay up to date on all the latest Legion FC news. Be sure to follow at BHM Legion. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Download the Legion FC app today. Sure way to stay up to date with all things Birmingham Legion FC. Just assured, if Birmingham hang on tonight, they will be tweeting all about the round of 32 draw coming up tomorrow afternoon. Hoping their U.S. Open Cup run continues. Alvis, crowded midfield. Fancy footwork from him to keep it. Out the other side for Angadello with Mensa. Siadu sees the switch, plays the switch. Colin Smith. Smith running forward. Still Smith into the area. Smith will try and didn't miss by much. Dynamic stuff from Colin Smith. Already scored one US Open Cup goal last round against Chattanooga Red Wolves. Nearly had a second. Did not miss the frame too terribly much. Chattanooga able to break the pressure. Cedar trying to slow up McGrath. Juan Louis on the turn. Dribbling. Trying to get deliberate here, trying to find the incisive pass that breaks through. It has been an organized Birmingham defensive effort to this point. Sixty-four plus minutes, and Chattanooga still looking for their first shot on target tonight. Four total shots, all have been blocked by and large. As Matthew Corcoran. Sends that away from Gray, a throw for Chattanooga. Dixon. Back for Gray. Gray an opportunity. His shot blocked again. This time it's Cornelli. McGrath. Able to get it back to Gray, who stayed onside. Gray dispossessed that time by Cornelli. Or was he? Now the whistle blows and a point to the spot. A penalty given. Gray brought down and a golden opportunity for Chattanooga to level the match. Cornelli thought he got it clean. Referee thought otherwise and right on the edge of the area. And the referee saying that was enough to give Chattanooga a chance from the spots. So Chattanooga who has been held without a shot on target all night tonight gonna have their first here. 
Marcus Naglastan, the Golden Boot winner in Nisa last year with his 20 goals, has already scored three times this season. And a golden opportunity to tie this contest. With less than a half hour to play. Trevor Spangenberg has been Birmingham Legion's PK specialist. Tall task here. Arglestad puts it on the spot. Biggest play of the game so far. Referee's gonna tell Arglestad to pull it back just a few centimeters more. their feet, so waiting this PK. Marcus Nagmastad taking his time, finding just the right piece of turf in and around that penalty spot. Trying to beat Trevor Spangenberg and tie this game at one. Nagmastad scores. 1-1 one, one. with everything to play for down the stretch here in Tuscaloosa. Marcus Naglastad does the job. On his birthday, he ties this third round game at one apiece. Sending Trevor Spankenberg the wrong way. This controversial penalty given has given Chattanooga and the visiting support life. 69th minute, a new score line. After Prosper Kasim's first half goal gave Birmingham the lead. Everything to play for down the stretch here in the final 20 plus minutes. We'll see how this game changes with Chattanooga giving a jolt of energy from the penalty spot. Didn't look like much contact, but it was enough. Naglastad in Chattanooga FC, a PK. Naglastad takes advantage. This Chattanooga side that came in as underdogs tonight is back all square with this USL Championship side of Birmingham Legion. Here in the 70th minutes. Dello trying to bring it down, could not corral it as well. Tugs down McGrath, free kick given. Wouldn't be surprised if Magadello is shown a yellow card, and he is. So a yellow card shown to Juan Agadello, brought to you by Rubio Law Firm. It's our second yellow card of the night shown to a member of Birmingham Legion. just trying to stop the attack, pushing forward by McGrath. Comes the second man booked, along with Anderson Asiadu, at least in red. Rebelita and Bowers have been booked for Chattanooga. Visitors restart things, everything to play for here in Tuscaloosa at Alabama Soccer Stadium. And a good crowd. Excellent atmosphere, been a fun game. Chattanooga, hoping for a second as Ray was caught in an offside position. Only one change aside so far tonight. Let's see if there are any more changes made as we reach the final stages of this second half. Mensa. Took a shoulder there from Louis. He's able to win it back for Chattanooga. Over the top, Raveno ushers that out of play. Birmingham fans, Legion FC return to Protective Stadium on Sunday at 4 o'clock Central Time to face Hartford Athletic. 
Fans can come out and enjoy $2 hot dogs, multiple bounce houses, and more. So get your tickets today at bhmlegion.com slash tickets. That's Birmingham Legion and Hartford Athletic coming up this Sunday at Protective Stadium in downtown Birmingham. Good work by Perez and Gray. They'll win it back only for a moment for Chattanooga. Possession given away rather cheaply. Itello brings it back to this natural playing surface here at Alabama Soccer Stadium in Tuscaloosa. Itello in a crowd. Redirects it out wide to the goal scorer. Prosper Kasim, perhaps looking for a second. Instead, trying to go out the other side for Alvis. Mensa. His cross deflected over the inline. Corner kick. Corner kick brought to you by Chick fil A. Just the second of the night for Birmingham. There haven't been many corners to speak of. Two so far for Birmingham, just one for Chattanooga. It's the youngster Matthew Corcoran. Serves it in. Flicked on. Headed away. Cleared away by Louis as far as into Martinez. Martinez has chopped down. So a free kick given for Birmingham and now a check on a blue shirt that is down in the box. So Martinez gets Birmingham ready to take this free kick. First things first. Check on the injured Chattanooga player. This time it looks like it's Colin Stripling who's down and in a bit of agony. Stripling looks to be all right after a moment. Second year Chattanooga man who started 26 out of 28 games a year ago. Let's see if we can see. Undercut by Birmingham Legion player that was already on the ground after a collision as that service came in. So free kick brought to you by Birmingham Freightliner here for Birmingham Legion FC. Still with all the center backs, the big bodies forward, Corcoran and Kasim from an awkward angle here. Corcoran out, Cornelli over the top, it's flipped aside by Antoine. Cornelli got plenty on that header and Antoine has to make his second big stop of the night. Just able to tip it over the bar. Another corner kick coming here, brought to you by Chick-fil-A. It's effort there by Antoine, and on the ensuing corner, a foul goes against Birmingham. Toli Prepolita is down this time. Holding his right leg. Prepolita a bit slow to get up. A lot of contact on these corner serves that we've had here in quick succession. The lead of the experienced center back from Moldova, slotting into central defense this year for Chattanooga. It's been solid tonight. Birmingham haven't had a ton in the way of chances. Really could say that for both sides. Antoine has had to make a couple of huge saves in this second half as a free kick is given to Chattanooga. Final quarter hour here in Tuscaloosa. A round of 32 spots still very much hanging in the balance. These two sides knotted at one goal apiece. A goal in the first half for Birmingham. A goal in the second half for Chattanooga that came from the penalty spot. Aglistad. Like he brought that down with his arm. Referee said it was enough shoulder to keep things moving. Agadella with a flick on for Elvis, just able to get through. Worker trying to go 
out wide for Kasim, who's just able to get there in front of Perez. Kasim trying to create some trouble. Ran out of real estate in the end. Richard Dixon was there. Playing one two with Garcia Sosa. Gray. Deflected. Anderson Asiadu got a piece of it. Anderson Asiadu has been a menace defensively tonight. And here comes Birmingham into Martinez with space. Kasim to his right. Here is the goal scorer, Kasim. Martinez trying to dummy it through. All this. Asiadu under pressure. Birmingham working deliberately here in the attacking third. Kasim thought about laying it off. Instead, tries the shot. It took a deflection. Out for another Birmingham Legion corner. There's that left foot of Prosper Kasim we've already seen once tonight. It was indeed deflected wide by that right stud of McGrath. Another corner kick brought to you by Chick fil A here in the 78th minute. Corker and readies a serve beyond the big bodies who are waiting at the front post. Smith pushes it back forward. Antoine, relatively easy catch in the end. A chance perhaps for Chattanooga to push forward. Birmingham not totally organized just yet. Perez around Martinez. Perez will try, and it's off the ribs of Cronali. Perez with a push is going to be called for the foul. It's been the story of the night in the attack for Chattanooga so far. Had a couple of shooting opportunities, but almost all have been blocked. Alex Cronali took that one like a champ. and overhit that pass well beyond Mensa. Throw for Chattanooga. Birmingham fans, you can head over to the Legion FC Twitter page at the HM Legion immediately following the final whistle tonight to vote on who you thought earned man of the match honors at BHM Legion on Twitter to vote on who you think should be named man of the match on the Birmingham side of things. Prosper Kasim's got that one goal. And Asiadu has been immense in defensive midfield. Moses Mintz has put in good work tonight as well. But still plenty to be decided here down the stretch. Q Mintz takes it away once more. Elvis couldn't quite connect with Martinez. Aglistad, Garcia Sosa. against Smith. Seen it a bunch tonight. That time Smith up to the challenge. Taylor Gray winning that penalty. It's been the difference so far in this second half. Second time in as many games, Gray has won a huge penalty kick for Chattanooga. It's the reason they won their contest against Flower City Union over the weekend. Time. The penalty was slotted home by Richard Dixon tonight. It was put home by Marcus Naglistad. All this breaks away from the pressure. Here comes Enzo Martinez. Kasim. It's an overlap from Corcoran. Miles Anderson Asidu, Moses Mensa, Juan Agatello all to join on the opposite side. Mensa the overlap. Agatello edge of the area. Kasim under duress. Walks back to his center back, Cronali. Birmingham. I found Chattanooga's back line organized here in this second half. Ten shots for Legion FC, seven for Chattanooga tonight. Agadello into the area. 
It's out for another Legion FC corner. Corner count starting to climb a little bit in the second half for Birmingham. You can see the wind has started to pick up as well, at least on that far side corner flag. As the temperature continues to drop here in Tuscaloosa. Corner number five brought to you by Chick-fil-A and before it's taken, Gabriel Alves of Birmingham Legion has been singled out by the referee. Almost every corner served in the second half has seen bodies go to ground. A foul or two given. Still, Corker not allowed to serve this. As a referee having words the Chattanooga man this time. Timotoli Prepolita, who's already playing on a yellow. He's got to be careful. He's locked up with Gabriel Alves. Corcoran serves. Prepolita got ahead to it. It'll be rinse and repeat from that same flag. Corcoran this time plays it shorts. Kasim towards the back post. Agadello went out. A lot of contact at that back post. Referee says nothing more. Kasim fires. Takes a deflection all the way through. Anderson is seeing who tracks it down. Still the big bodies forward. Smith served, blocked away by Gray. Dixon does not concede the corner. And all the way back it goes. It'll allow Chattanooga to regain their shape. After Birmingham asked a few questions there. Chattanooga FC defense up to the challenge. Good opportunities there, and now perhaps another one as Agadella was brought down. He wins Birmingham Legion, another free kick, and another set piece opportunity. There's Perez who flipped the back of his left leg. Free kick brought to you by Birmingham Freightliner. Corcoran and Kasim once again standing over it. I don't think they have enough room to serve this in. Ray and Naglestad are not the required space away. The referee's got his hands full right now. He's whistling at some of the crowded bodies around the top of the box while also about to mark off the required space for this free kick to be taken. Eighty-fifth minute here in Tuscaloosa. Sides trying to find a breakthrough. Corker and serve is low. Directed out to Smith. Sent away from the mix. Naglestad heads it away. Gray brings it down. Here comes Chattanooga. Smith able to beat Gray to that. Keep it away from Garcia Sosa. Well done by the youngster, the 19-year-old Colin Smith. Mensa along that far touch line. Last touch by Chattanooga. So another Chick-fil-A corner kick coming here for Legion FC. Corner number seven of the night. Eighty-five minutes gone. Will there be a late winner that decides this third round contest in the U.S. Open Cup? Corcoran, high arcing serve. Prepolita up to head it back where it came from. Martinez, his serve blocked away. Chattanooga has had to see quite a few set pieces in the second half, but they've been up to the task. Mensa back out for Corcoran, and again, redirected away. Alex Cronali on the turn. Connects with Juan Agadello. The second pass doesn't come off as intended. And Alvis commits the foul. So Garcia Sosa brought down. The 
Pretty easy call there. All this, the only change still Birmingham has made. Well, Juan Louis, the only change Chattanooga has made. Besides perhaps keeping some of their subs dry in case this third round contest does need extra time to decide it. No one scores in the next few minutes plus stoppage time. We head to 30 minutes of additional time. Enzo Martinez trying to get around Prepolita. There's a lot of contact there, but no whistle. It's the big man from Aldova, Prepolito, was caught up there with the Birmingham captain, Enzo Martinez, who sarcastically applauds the referee. Like there might have been a foul at least one way or the other, but nothing in the end. Handball the call that time against Louise. Going to give Birmingham a free kick. <laughs> Throwing coming here for Birmingham as well. 1 1 our score, as it has been since the 68th minute when Marcus Naglista tied the game at one apiece from the penalty spot. Kasim got the scoring started for Birmingham Legion back in minute 31. Antoine well off his line to come collect that in front of Anderson Aseadu. A relatively evenly played match tonight in Tuscaloosa. Two regional rivals. Spot in the round of 32 on the line. City's respective mayors getting in on the battle as well. They've got a friendly wager. Some care packages on the line being delivered to the winning mayoral hall. Either Birmingham or Chattanooga, depending on who comes away victorious tonight. And a perfect start to 2023 for Chattanooga FC. Three wins from their first three Nisa League games, plus a win against Des Moines in the U.S. Open Cup. Legion, winners over Chattanooga Red Wolves. Last round of this tournament. Four wins and a draw to go along with two losses to get off to a solid start in USL Championship play. Alvis was fouled there. Birmingham would have rather played instead. We'll have to take a free kick about 15 yards further back. One game tonight that is headed to extra time. Battle of Miami, Inter Miami, and Miami FC. In extra time, tied at one apiece. There's threatening to be a second here in Tuscaloosa. 90th minute, deadlocked at that same score line, one apiece. At least three, four, five minutes of stoppage time coming to close out this second half. Either side, find a late scoring opportunity that could perhaps decide this game. Sosa back to Bowers who goes back to his goalkeeper Antoine and it's confirmed across the way five minutes of stoppage time to close this second half brought to you by UAB Medicine Birmingham's going to get a free kick here with the flag up against Naglasad or Gray so stoppage time here at Alabama Soccer Stadium those sides looking for a late winner. We are headed for 30 more minutes. Agno ball over the top. Alvis able to run it down. Alvis, got the service only as far as Prepolita. See you do. Wins it back. Alvis tries from distance and it's pushed aside by Antoine. His third big save of the second half. Good strike from Gabriel Olivas, who's already scored a couple of times in USL Championship play this year. That was from distance, but he got a pretty good piece of it. Corcoran serve. Cronulli denied again by Antoine. 
And out of play, last touch by Birmingham Legion. Alex Cronelli got it clean and Antoine just, just enough to keep it out. Gene Antoine did not make a save in the first half, but he has had to make a couple of huge stops here in the second to keep Chattanooga around. Dixon miss hit that a little bit. All the way back it goes for Stripling. Down the channel, Mensa stride for stride there with Louie. coming for Birmingham Legion. Two plus minutes into our minimum of five additional minutes of stoppage time. Asked if either side could create that big scoring opportunity. Birmingham did. Jean Antoine up to the task. Four big saves for Antoine. A foul is going to go against Juan Agadello there. So a free kick is going to be given to Chattanooga. Prapolita is going to push as many blue shirts as he can forward. Towards the edge of the area. Corcoran sends it back towards the midway stripe. Final minute plus. Here is stoppage time. Taylor Gray making the run in behind. Alan Smith able to catch up, get back in front. McGrath dispossesses Martinez. Gray on the turn. Gray couldn't thread it through, get it around Cronali. Kasim leads Elvis back the other way. Chattanooga's defense scrambling to get back, get organized. Elvis around one man into the area. Elvis, can he get the cross away? Still Elvis cuts it back. Kasim couldn't keep it down. Excellent individual efforts from Gabriel Alves. His pass took a bit of a deflection. And that deflection just enough to throw off Prosper Kasim, who couldn't get that boot all the way around it. Final few seconds of stoppage time. And a foul as Marcus Nagelestad is brought down by Raveno. Chattanooga not being a little bit quicker here, putting this ball back in play. This could be the final play of regulation here. Final few seconds of stoppage time. Four blue shirts make it five now. Edge of the area. Referee asking Chattanooga to play this. Graf looks like he'll oblige. Towards the far side. It's headed over the end line. So nothing comes of the set piece in the end. And that is the full time whistle. So we are headed for extra time. 90 minutes, not enough to decide who advances to the round of 32 of this US Open Cup. So 30 more minutes is on the way here at Alabama Soccer Stadium. We'll take a timeout and return to our coverage of the U.S. Open Cup in just a moment. Well, back here at Alabama Soccer Stadium in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. 90 minutes, not enough to decide who advances to the round of 32. Birmingham Legion and Chattanooga FC headed to extra time. 
One goal in the first half for Birmingham Legion FC. One goal in the second half from the penalty spot. Right here, Taylor Gray doing just enough to pick up a penalty call. Gray has been the danger man tonight for Chattanooga. Right here, enough contact set our referee to point to the penalty spot to give Chattanooga a chance to tie the contest, which they did. Marcus Naglestad put it away, tied the game at one apiece. And that's where we stand, much to the delight of the Chattanooga supporters. Birmingham Legion continued to press forward. Onagadello is booked a little bit later in that second half for that pull down of Alex McGrath, who has covered quite a bit of real estate tonight in Tuscaloosa. Very usual for him. Alex Cornelli, a couple of huge opportunities with his head. That one pushed over the bar by Antoine. Jesper Kasim had a shot that was blocked wide out of play. Birmingham have doubled the shot total of Chattanooga so far tonight. 15 shots to seven. Five Birmingham shots on target to just one for Chattanooga, including this one right here. Another Alex Cornelli header that Gene Antoine did just enough to keep out of his own nets. So we stand tied, one apiece, getting ready for extra time. Birmingham have made at least one change. Their captain is on. Center back Fonwo Cavita has come on for the starts of extra time. Let's see who the change is for. No announced changes yet for Chattanooga. We'll wait and see if that is indeed the case. So Birmingham have their regular pairing of center backs back in there between Cronali and Cavita. Substitution for Legion FC in extra time. Entering the game is number three, Conroll Cavita. Leaving the game is number 10, Prosper Kasim. So now it is announced. The goal scorer, Prosper Kasim, is the man who has been lifted. Kasim's excellent goal in the first half gave Birmingham the lead for the bulk of this contest. He exits here before we embark on another half hour of additional time. So a center back on, an attacking player off, likely pushes Colin Smith into more of an attacking role. Slides Ben Raveno out to that right fullback spot where Smith started this game. So Birmingham have now made two changes. Kavita on and that man, Gabriel Alves on. It looks like there are no additional changes for Chattanooga. They've made just the one, and they get extra time Every off and down. going. Glad to have you with us from Tuscaloosa tonight. Blake Gardner, and on behalf of our entire crew, this has been a fun contest here in the third round of this U.S. Open Cup. It's been so fun that 90 minutes has not been enough to decide it. Going to need at least 30 more. No golden goal. Two 15-minute halves here in extra time. Let's both sides search for a winner. When we get to that 120-minute mark, if one side is in front, that side advances to the third round or into the round of 32 of the U.S. Open Cup. If there is a tied score line when we get to that 120-minute mark, we'll decide things from the spot with a penalty kick shootout. Raveno, the man on loan for New England Revolution. Back to Birmingham captain just into the game. Fanuel Cavita, 30-year-old now in his third season here with Birmingham. Leader of this team, the anchor of this defense. Right away gets himself in on a challenge. He's called for the foul. A rare night off to start the night for Cavita who started pushing 40 plus consecutive USL championship games. Not a guy who gets many nights off, so this was a bit of respite for him, but his team deadlocked at one in a do or die game. He comes on here to start extra time. Michael Stott couldn't get a clean touch on that. Kavita trying to get it to Corcoran, whose pass was cut out by Gray. On Louis with Mensa on his back. Finds Luis Garcia Sosa. 
Richard Dixon. Dixon tried to hop around to see a do, but couldn't do that and maintain possession. Leno gives it back to Chattanooga. Chattanooga spring the upset here in extra time. There has been a dearth of upsets so far in this U.S. Open Cup third round. Just one yesterday. One so far tonight as Memphis 901 FC storm back to beat Atlanta United. They're through to the round of 32. Birmingham trying to join their rivals there. Garcia Sosa. Don't find much in the way of going forward. Force backwards. Veno went to ground, was the last to touch it. Took a bit of a tough challenge there as well. Stripling. A bit too tall for Louis, who could not keep that in play. and throws it back in to Kavita to get things restarted for Legion FC. Credit to what Chattanooga's been able to do so far tonight. They've done just enough to hang with Birmingham Legion. They've had their scoring opportunities. Pretty much all their shots have been blocked except for the one from the spot. The penalty that leveled this match. Birmingham meanwhile had their opportunities to retake the lead. Right there in the second half, but Gene Antoine, the best goalkeepers in Nisa. A couple of big time stops. McGrath brought it down, could not find his way around to see a do. McGrath, a crunching challenge is called for the foul. Siadu has been on, on quite a few tackles tonight. <laughs> Did get quite a bit of ball there. Maybe just enough man to draw the whistle. Another set piece here for Legion FC. They created a little bit of danger in the second half on some of these. Corker in a good start to the back post. Kavita got a hit to it. Agadello was pushed from behind, not enough to draw a whistle. And it didn't matter in the end because I believe Agadello was the man in the offside position. Flag was up. So again, Birmingham win a ball in the air, but Chattanooga's defense escapes unscathed. Not. Couldn't quite hold off Cronali. Gabriel Alves. Matthew Corcoran. Around Dixon. Trying to play it through. Couldn't quite get it all the way through to Alves. We're playing had it red. Louis down the touchline. Excellent first touch. Gets him around Mensa. Siadu trying to knock him off track. Siadu does just enough. And I'd say enough good things about the defensive shift Anderson Asiadu has put in tonight. Ronaldo looking long. Powers hits it away. Lita, by 
Alvis has to go back to his keeper, Antoine. Antoine sends it deep into the Tuscaloosa Knights. Approaching the halfway point of our first 15 minute segment here in our 30 minutes of extra time. Score line 1-1 one, one, as it has been since the 68th minute. Which side is gonna be able to change that? Birmingham trying to become yet another USL Championship club into the round of 32. Nisa League's hope is resting on the shoulders of Chattanooga FC. Perez pushing forward. Gray, the wide option, trying to get around Raveno. Had him red. See you do. Doesn't quite find a red shirt with his pass. Garcia Sosa. Back to McGrath, who's hounded by Alvis. Able to bring it down against Mensa. Stripling. Mensa again makes the play defensively. Asiadu trying to start the counter quickly. Pass a bit behind Smith as Asiadu was clipped from behind. Referee allows play to continue. Colin Smith. The man on his back somehow gets through. Still Smith. Still Smith. Antoine got a piece. What an effort by Colin Smith. But Antoine up to the task once again. Another big time save. Second scoring opportunity of the night for Colin Smith, who just narrowly missed the frame in the second half. Somehow got all the way through the traffic here. Back the other way, Chattanooga a chance. Louis, Naglastad, Gray, flag stays down, Gray along the byline, Spangenberg makes a stop. Both goalkeepers called into action here early in extra time. Smith able to hold it up, get it back to Martinez, who needs a little bit in the way of supports. Exhaustion starting to set in. Some tired legs with action rolling end to end. Martinez. Captain finds Anderson Asiadu. Alvis. First touch not great, but he's able to corral it and win Birmingham a throw. It looks like Legion FC are prepping a change as well. Is that a stoppage for this change or is it for a yellow card? I believe it's gonna be Perhaps for both. Yellow card shown to Marcus Naglastad for his late challenge on Anderson Asiadu a few minutes ago. Birmingham Legion are indeed going to make a change here. And it's one youngster off, one youngster on. Matthew Corcoran looked like he was laboring a bit. He's coming off and making his Legion debut, Dante Johnson, the 19 year old from Columbus, Georgia. Each an academy signing that came up through Busa and Alabama FC. Makes his Legion FC debut in a huge moment, extra time, this U.S. Open Cup contest. Ocatello gets ahead to that. Antoine comes out to collect it. He'll give everybody a bit of a breather for just a moment. So substitution for Birmingham Legion brought to you by Papa John's. And don't forget you can use code Legion for 25% off your regular menu price online order at papajohns.com. Dante Johnson on for Matthew Corcoran, the third change Birmingham has made tonight. Chattanooga so far has just made one change. We'll see if a second is forthcoming. Dello. 
down to the near side for Mensa. Mensa's got a bit of space if he wants to take advantage of it. Working with Alvis on this near side. Alvis towards the back post, a bit beyond Martinez, who is making the near post run. Two plus minutes left in our first 15 minutes of extra time. Johnson, his first real touches since coming on. Next with Kavita, Birmingham captain, brings things back under control. Rinaldi wants the switch. Lovely weighted pass to Mensa. Mensa. Louis. Offensive work from him was sublime. Garcia Sosa is fouled. Fans didn't like the whistle there, but that tug from Alvis and another one there from Agadello. That's what drew the whistle. He able to win it back quickly. Asiadu able to keep his footing. Agadello has Alvis with him. Alvis cuts it back on his right. His shot is denied by Antoine. Alvis had an opportunity on his preferred left. Thought he might squeeze it off right here. Did it cut it back to his right instead? Antoine saw just enough of it. Antoine continues to make save after save late in this game to keep Chattanooga around. Into Martinez. Trying to drive that pass through traffic. No avail. Garcia Sosa got a piece of it. He brings it down, Raveno takes it off him. Here comes Birmingham again. Agadello with some space. Agadello can't keep it down. Agadello's been a goal scorer. It's a second yellow and you know it. Give it to him, Austin. Two goals scored against Chattanooga Red Wolves, plus another scored this past weekend against Orange County, a man was made a deep run in the U.S. Open Cup. His time with New England Revolution all the way to the finals. Not come up with a decisive moment there. See you do on the turn. Their time for a little bit more. Before the referee blows his whistle in this first 15 minute segment. Is Naglestad tees up a shot that does not Trevor travel Spangenberg. And there is the whistle. 15 minutes down. 15 more to go here in extra time. And our score line remains the same. Birmingham Legion 1, Chattanooga 1. We'll take a breather. Reset. The second 15 minutes of extra time from Alabama Soccer Stadium here in Tuscaloosa when we return in just a moment. 15 minutes down and extra time, 15 to go. And it starts right now, 105 minutes. And so far, we're still tied. One apiece between Birmingham Legion and Chattanooga FC here at Alabama Soccer Stadium in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Blake Gardner, glad to have you with us tonight. Regional rivalry of sorts here in the US Open Cup's third round. Birmingham have had the better of the chances since Chattanooga leveled the match from the penalty spot. Gene Antoine's made some big saves. Kept this score line the same. Looks like it got out of play and it did. Flag did go up. Throw in coming here for Birmingham. Hard to believe Chattanooga FC just two shots on target tonight. Birmingham Legion out shooting Chattanooga 19-9. Score line tied at one as we wait to see which of these two sides will advance to the round of 32 of this U.S. Open Cup. Agadello tried to keep that in play but couldn't. Looked like 
think it was off gray and it was. Throw for Legion FC right in front of the stands here in Alabama Soccer Stadium in Tuscaloosa. A perfect night for soccer approaching 60 degrees here in the deep south. Birmingham Legion led thanks to a first half goal from Prosper Kasim. They've been level since the 68th minute. Birmingham have been a bit more of the dangerous side. Can they pay off some of that danger into perhaps a chance to score? Mensa, not a bad service, but Antoine comes to collect. Antoine has been the man of the match so far tonight for Chattanooga FC. Seven shots on target this evening for Birmingham Legion. Just one has gotten past Gene Antoine, and it took quite the effort from Prosper Cassini. Antoine has an excellent shot stopper. His distribution that time leaving a little bit to be desired. Ball looking for Agatello. Couldn't quite touch his way around Bowers. Garcia Sosa. Cronali got a boot in. Here's a Siadu. He's got Martinez. Cronali pushing forward as well. Siadu shot blocked and it rolls just to the left side of that corner flag. So not a corner, a throw right by that flag for Legion FC. Well, this is gonna leave it for Moses Mensa. He's put in a good shift tonight from that left fullback spot. Mensa directing traffic into the penalty area it goes. Cornelli. Maybe got just a little bit of it, but not enough. Antoine trying to serve it quickly out the other way. Bounces in front of Raveno. Stott's pass doesn't come off as he intended. Back it goes to Birmingham. Asiadu does well to keep it. All of us providing the width on that far side. All of us got the cross away. Smith brought it down, laid it off. Johnson on his left, his shot blocked. And the flag up as Alvis was caught in an offside position. Tate Johnson was able to squeeze that shot off. What a moment that would have been for the 19 year old. Who appeared for Birmingham Legion in their preseason games, making his US Open Cup debut tonight for Matthew Corcoran in the early part of extra time. Ten and a half minutes for one of these two sides to find the defining moments. Otherwise, it'll be decided with penalty kicks. All of us again on that far flank. He's got space, he's into the penalty area. It's just past Martinez, it falls for Smith. Smith, is it sent away by Perez? Chattanooga trying to hang on, the legs looking a bit weary. Visitors have only made one change all night. Birmingham Legion have made three, but it looks like Chattanooga is prepping their second here momentarily. Siadu towards Agadello, just a little bit beyond him. Perez ushers it over the inline. And Chattanooga will make that change right here. Luis Garcia Sosa has played well tonight. His evening will come to a close. You know, Alvarenga gets ready to come Substitution on. Substitution for Chattanooga in extra time. Entering the game is number nine, Lionel Alvarenga. So Garcia Sosa off here in the 111th minute. Lionel Alvarenga, the 23 year old from UC Irvine. Spent his rookie season last year with Cal United. He's come over to Chattanooga this season. Comes off the bench for the fifth time. He's not started yet this year for Chattanooga, but he's come off the bench in every Chattanooga contest that includes their win in the US Open Cup against Des Moines. 
Gray. Beaten to it by Cronali. Spangenberg tries to send it away from trouble. Only as far as McGrath. He's locked up with Agadello. Here is Alvarenga. Dixon. This pass cut out by Mensa. And a chance here for Chattanooga that ends up in the back of the net, but the flag certainly up. Relatively easy call as Juan Louis was certainly in an offside position. Not a whole lot he could do about it. Certainly behind the last defender, both Cronali and Mensa. It's a well-placed finish, but wiped away. Our scoreline remains. Raveno picks out Martinez. Agatello. Agatello had the space, but just couldn't keep it from skying over the bar. There's Senecia do. Wiping off the boots of Agatello. He was able to squeeze that through defenders, but not find the frame. And with 47 goals in MLS, scored seven times Birmingham Legion last year. Three times in all competitions already this season. Has not been able to find the shooting boots so far tonight. Douglas Todd. Louis was pressured. Chattanooga trying to turn with it. Here comes Alvarenga. Varenga on his right, finds Naglastad. Mensa got a point in. Menno clears it away. Perez. Stripling. Into the channel, nobody there, not on the same page with Louis. 114 minutes, 1-1 one, one our score. Six minutes to find a game winner. Raveno, caught in possession by Gray, fouled by Gray. Raveno and Gray, fouled up a little bit there. Johnson to wait just a moment. We'll look here after the play. Benno took exception to Gray standing on top of him there, just over top of him. Gray trying to get around Raveno. Checked by Johnson. Foul given, looks like. As Gray is down just off the playing surface. Enzo Martinez has shown a yellow card for descent. Gray a bit slow to get up. Enzo Martinez looked to be clattered behind the play. Referee did not give the whistle there, but gave it over here. Enzo Martinez, I don't believe, has officially been fouled all night, which he certainly doesn't agree with. What a flick that is from Gray. Check from Johnson is what draws the whistle. So yellow card shown to Enzo Martinez. So Martinez, Agadello, and Asiadu have all been booked for Birmingham. Babalita, Bowers, Nagelestad have all been booked for Chattanooga. Birmingham is going to use this stoppage to make another change. Moses Mensa. What a job he's done tonight. The left fullback. He's going to come off, and Tyler Pasher is going to come on. What a good sign that is for Birmingham fans. Tyler Pasher has missed the past few contests due to injury for getting off to such an explosive start. But he comes on here late, less than four minutes to go. This U.S. Open Cup third round match. 
Birmingham looking for a moment of magic, perhaps, from the Canadian. The turn from Johnson, connects with Agatello. Martinez brings it down. Back to Martinez. And he was fouled that time. The first time he has drawn the whistle all night. Perhaps that yellow card for descent working for him. Tyler Pasher, his first touches since coming on. Pasher dancing into the area. His first cross blocked. Still Pasher. Martinez touched it on. Crowded around the top of the area. Kavita trying to corral it. It falls for Martinez trying to get through. Finally, it is cleared away. It's crowded in and around the top of the box. Big switch from Kernali. Smith brought it down for a Siadu. Pasher. Pasher around one man. Pasher to the byline, got the cross away. Was it deflected? No, it was not. Goal kick for Chattanooga. Tyler Pasher wasting no time getting involved here in the closing stages tonight. But time running out here in this extra time session. 118th minute here in Tuscaloosa. Grath, Raveno, actually it falls for Kavita. Nice touch there from Kavita and Johnson not quite on the same page. Alvaringa trying to turn. Chattanooga able to put their foot on it. Bowers the switch. All of us got ahead to it. Alvaringa the second ball. Closing moments here of extra time. We inch closer to penalties to decide who advances to the U.S. Open Cup round of 32. Kavita plays it off his back. Plays it into touch as Birmingham prep one final change. It's Jake Roof who's coming on. But first things first, Chattanooga will make a change. Colin Stripling is coming off. Tuyu Wape is coming on. Tuyu Wape on. Stripling off. Jake Roof on for Birmingham. He'll replace Colin Smith, who put in quite a bit of work tonight. Substitutions once again brought to you by Papa John's tonight. Forget fans use code LEGION for 25% off your online order. PapaJohns.com. So a throw in for Chattanooga. We'll see how much stoppage time will end this extra time session as we approach the 120 minute mark. Vita sends this away. Second header in two minutes. Two minutes of stoppage time brought to you by UAB Medicine. McGrath pushing forward. His shot deflects wide. Wide of the post. It took a deflection. And the referee originally pointing for a goal kick now does get it right. It is a Chattanooga corner. Alex McGrath with his best opportunity all night. Off the tucked arm of Raveno. Just the second corner kick of the evening for Chattanooga. Game hanging in the balance late in extra time. Stoppage time of extra time. McGrath serves it. Spangenberg, an easy catch. There's no time getting it out in the run of Asiadu. Birmingham trying to press forward. Tyler Pasher, a chance to run at this Chattanooga back line. Pasher gets the shot away. It took a deflection on its way to Antoine, who can put his foot on it. There's 
no problem wasting a little bit of time as the visitors try to get this to penalties. Thirty seconds, perhaps less, left. The referee blows the whistle. And away that goes to Birmingham's keeper, Trevor Spangenberg. Is there time for one more push forward for Birmingham Legion? Jake Roof, his first touches since coming on. Bernali into the run of Alvis. He took a glance at his watch. Hasn't blown his whistle yet. Johnson on the turn. Adelo there as well. Johnson went to ground, try to keep it. He directs out the roof. And that is the final whistle. 120 minutes here in Tuscaloosa. And our score line remains deadlocked. One for Birmingham Legion, one for Chattanooga FC. And it will take a penalty shootout to decide who advances to the U.S. Open Cup round of 32. We'll take a quick break. A PK shootout here at Alabama Soccer Stadium when we return. Back here at Alabama Soccer Stadium in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. It's been a fun night across the third round of the U.S. Open Cup. Already seen a cup set tonight, Memphis. Winners in extra time over Atlanta United. This, this game went to extra time as well. 120 minutes, not enough to decide this one. As we get a look at how we got here this evening. It all started with Prosper Kasim in the first half. This incredible strike from distance into the side netting. Gave Birmingham Legion a first half lead a little after half an hour. Birmingham led for about 30 minutes until a penalty was called right there on Alex Cronali, drawn by Taylor Gray. That allowed Marcus Naglestad to equalize from the spots in the 68th minute. That tied our scoreline one apiece. Birmingham Legion had their chances. Alex Cronali, a flick header here, was probably one of the best ones. But Gene Anton did just enough to keep the scoreline tied. Birmingham Legion so far tonight has outshot Chattanooga 23 to 10, outshot them shots on frame seven to two. Chattanooga did just enough to keep the score line tied at one apiece and send us to a penalty shootout. We'll play on the north side of this Alabama soccer stadium here in Tuscaloosa. Birmingham electing to go first. Tyler Pasher, who just came on about five minutes ago for his first action in game in about two weeks to start the shootout. And he scores. <laughs> Clinical from Tyler Pasture to give Birmingham a good start. That was well placed. Antoine guessed right. Pasture still had him beat. So now it will be Marcus Naglestad, the 32 year old from Norway, playing today on his birthday. Scored once from the spot already tonight against Trevor Spangenberg. Send him the wrong way. And he scored from the spot for a second time tonight. Naglasad converts. 1-1. Naglasad trying to fire up the visitors and their supporter section who have made the drive down. The second time he sends Trevor Spangenberg diving the wrong direction. So all square after round one. It's Juan Agadello readies. Already two Open Cup goals for Juan Agadello this year. Plus one this past weekend against Orange County in the USL Championship. Agadello. Denied. Big time save by Antoine, who's been making huge stops the entire second half. This one, though, is going to be waved off. Antoine came off his line early. Agadello, a stutter step run up. Caught, Agadello, caught Antoine coming forward just a moment too soon. Hard to tell from there whether Antoine was able to hold his line. Certainly looks like he came off just a minute too early. 
So Agadello a second time. Stopped again. Antoine two for two against Agadello. He mitts from Antoine. Guessed right twice in a row. And the Chattanooga goalkeeper continues to have a huge, huge night. Chattanooga now with a chance to get a leg up in this PK shootouts. The captain, Richard Dixon, the 33-year-old, the club's first ever professional signing. Trying to give Chattanooga an advantage. Off the bar! Both sides come up empty in round two. Spangenberg guessed right. But Dixon is off target. So one make and one miss for both sides. Gabriel Alves will start round three. The rookie from Marshall. NCAA national champion in his time at the Thundering Herd. Has scored twice already in USL play to start his professional career. Alvis scores. Never a doubt from Gabriel Alvis. A confident, well taken penalty from the rookie. Immediately a point to his goalkeeper, Trevor Spakenberg. And some words of encouragement as well. Anatoly Papalita from Moldova. His first year in the United States after spending the last few seasons playing in Moldova and Latvia. He's going to do himself to his still relatively new club in round three of this shootout. Right down the middle. with power over the top of Trevor Spangenberg. Through three rounds, we're tied at two. Round four starts with Jake Roof, who just came on a few moments ago. The Alabama native. Roof, yes! No time wasted from Jake Roof. Briskly walked to the spot, put it down, put it away. Makes out of four for Birmingham Legion. Chattanooga trying to match. Matua Mawape. And from Zambia. Trying to score twice this year. Both teams in Chattanooga's season opener. The extra time substitutes. Sam Spangenberg the wrong way. 3-3. An excellent 120 minutes. This PK shootout has been fun as well. Three, three through four rounds. The man who started the night with the captain's armband for Birmingham, Enzo Martinez, the first team USL selection, scores. <laughs> Calmly, coolly taken from the veteran Enzo Martinez. Right down the middle to beat Antoine. Puts all the pressure back on Chattanooga. Substitute Lino Alvarenga, the 23-year-old from UC Irvine. Coming off the bench for the fifth straight game to start his time with Chattanooga. Has to make to keep this PK shoot going. Spangenberg trying to come up with a big stop. Alvarenga to send this to round six. Saved! Spangenberg denies Alvarenga and Birmingham Legion are through to the round of 32. <laughs> Trevor
Trevor Spangenberg, the PK shootout hero. And Birmingham Legion survive a cup set scare tonight in Tuscaloosa. The USL championship side is through to the round of 32. Spangenberg had it red all the way. The final score of tonight's match, Chattanooga FC1, Birmingham Legion FC1. Legion All Varanga denied, Chattanooga knocked out on the 108th US Open Cup. Birmingham Legion are through to the round of 32. 1-1 our final score, Birmingham Legion, 4-3 in the PK shootouts. Birmingham Legion are through the round of 32 draw tomorrow, April 27th at 2 o'clock Eastern, 1 o'clock Central. Stream live on Bleacher Report app and the Bleacher Report football YouTube channel. Birmingham Legion will hear their name called tomorrow afternoon. It wasn't easy. Prosper Kasim School gave them an early lead, but Chattanooga FC fought back stride for stride in the second half. Even after 120 minutes, there was no separation tonight. Marcus Naglestad in Chattanooga put up a fight tonight in the deep south. But in the penalty kick shootout, Birmingham Legion do just enough to see their way through, pick up their second win in this 108th edition of the U.S. Open Cup. Trevor Spangenberg, the hero. Birmingham Legion moving on. They knock out regional rivals Chattanooga FC tonight. Thanks for watching our coverage here at Alabama Soccer Stadium tonight. I'm Blake Gardner saying so long from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. This has been US Open Cup coverage here on BHMLegion.com.